caught us something. Huntington Avenue rushes to the scene of a medical call. You're twisting your ankle, right? This is this one here. But I don't know why this one's the one that's hurting you. Where did you get this? 32-year-old female. Where did you get this? That's what I got. Tying up a fire truck. When EMS is crazy and they have no ambulance to send. They'll send a fire truck even though it's a very low priority incident. In this case, she sprained her ankle. So we have to come by and basically provide first aid and just sit there and babysit her until an ambulance comes. And in the meantime, we're out of service for any other calls. So if a fire comes in, we can't go. If any other emergency comes in, we can't go. We have to stay with the patient. OK, good. Don't switch up on me. Next thing you'll be telling me, it's your elbow that's sore. <laughs> no. <laughs> huh? no. That's Patch Adams. That's Dr. Adams. It was just this one, huh? Yeah. I don't know how long we're going to be out here waiting to change the shift. It's a low priority call. It's, you know, it's like the perfect storm. You know, we could be here for a long time, for a long haul. We're going to be here for half an hour. Okay, let me know if that gets too cold. I'll flip it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Thank you. She said she's been out all day long on that foot. It must be really throbbing on her, so I feel for a little bit. But this particular patient um, seems like she's going to make it. She's going to make it? She'll make it, yeah. So here we go, here. Go. When a hero comes along. <laughs> That's a hill right there. Can we get you a pillow, too? <laughs> no, OK. What about a cup of, cup of coffee? Hey, ladies. Hey, what's happening? Oh, she twisted her right ankle, and it's making her left ankle swollen, yeah. favoring okay. it. There's all her info. Thank you. To send us to something like this is questionable. You're not doing anything that's saving anybody's life. We're basically just babysitting them. We have alert ambulance on scene. Doesn't make any sense to me, but I just do what I'm told. <laughs> Come on, let's get this rolling. Back at the basketball court before the game starts up again, there's another call. Huntington Avenue, Kingston 37, at Carolina 26. 26 has a run. We're gonna get in trouble. We're gonna get the play. Go, get on the right. Let's go. <laughs> It turns into a typical day for the busiest firehouse in Boston. Hey, Dave, Neil, Neil. Oh, it's this one? Freddie and Engine 37. And a smoke alarm right in the cafeteria. Answer call after call for the next 12 hours straight. Right now, we're going to a report of a motor vehicle accident. On any given day, we could respond to um, a variety of different car accidents. That's where I know you're from the deli counter, cutting the meats. People having difficulty breathing. You get a call for cardiac arrest. People need transport to the hospital. Well, cardiac arrest, it's like medical calls. It's all in a day. <laughs> Saving lives, it's not easy. I wouldn't recommend anybody take this job. They could be alarm systems that are, that are tripped. And need to be reset, and you got to investigate them. Hi, how you guys doing? Good. Make sure why they trip, and it's actually not a fire. How many runs today? Was that 12? 14.46. That's a dozen. I'm exhausted. <laughs> it's too much. Too much. I'm getting too old for this stuff, man. Freddie has had enough of the relentless pace at Huntington Avenue. It takes a toll on you. Get old quick here. He's put in for a transfer back to his old house, Engine 2. Only 25. People say I look like I'm 30. Engine 2 is on the other side of the city, about four miles away in South Boston. It's a different house than this house. This is a quieter house, a place to relax a little bit. It's actually, it's, it's almost like a retirement home, sort of. I once told me that um, if there was a good place I wanted to hide my wallet, it would be underneath the, um, the fire truck over there, underneath the wheel. You see, because it doesn't, doesn't go anywhere. Report of a man down. It's heroin. They already said a heroin? I'm getting a little, a little too old for this house. Hey, is he conscious? Hello? You doing a little heroin? Yeah, he's conscious. You all right? You going to be all right, dude? All right. I used to play Little League with them years ago up in the neighborhood together. It's a shame. He's a nice kid. I always liked him. It's 
life in the big city. I don't ever feel like taking a nap, something comes in. If Freddy's transfer goes through, his biggest adjustment will be leaving the Mission Hill neighborhood Huntington Avenue serves. I'm the ambassador here of, um, of the Mission Hill area, self-appointed. I grew up in the shadows of the church here, so uh, I feel it's my duty to pass on the, um, the tradition and the history of the neighborhood. What's going on? My fire alarm's been uh, going off in the cellar. She's a local woman from the neighborhood. She raised four children, people that I went to school with, and um, she's someone I've known my whole life. It's a lifelong resident of the neighborhood. So I just wanted to make sure she was all right, got out, see how she was doing. You guys call 911? Yeah. Buddy, you okay? Yeah, okay. It's hard to leave the station because I enjoy going out on runs and interacting with people of the community that I know, and they sort of appreciate seeing me out there. United States, 600 times. Country. Everybody likes to see one of their own out there working, doing the job. So it'd be kind of tough to leave. His neighbor 80, he was, he was assaulted earlier in the nose. He, he, he gets a little excited, too, so. Actually, I see that guy around. He says he was looking for his hat. He usually has a lot of 26 hat on when I see him. I think he's a trucky. <laughs> Talks like a trucky. Although he'll miss the neighborhood, Freddie is counting the days until he gets out. If I don't get this transfer, uh, I'm gonna have to, um, I guess I'm gonna have to put up with the, with the drama around here for a little bit longer. It's gonna be tough. I don't know what I'm gonna do if I don't get out of here. Um, it's tough. I wanna get out of here, that's all I can say.